Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Peter's Kitchen Corner. On today's episode I'm going to be showing you how I do my basic bread. It's a quick and easy recipe, fewest ingredients that I can uh, come up with a bread. It's, it's a bread that I use anytime we're in need of bread or you know the kids want uh, some fresh bread and just quickly put it together, throw it in the uh, bread maker and off it goes. We'll start with one third cup of warm water, one and a half cups of whole wheat flour, one and a half cups of white flour, three to four tablespoons of margarine or butter or whatever you prefer, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna at the end on the, on top I'm gonna add three quarters of teaspoons of yeast. So I'm going to do a whole wheat setting, two pound bread, medium uh, crust, three hours and 45 minutes, and start. And of course, because it's a whole wheat setting, it the paddles and uh, won't move for the next 20 minutes or so. So I guess I'll see you guys in uh, almost four hours. Hi guys, we're back. Uh, my bread's been finished for a couple of hours, and it's got me a little bit stumped. Uh, I'm not really sure why I have these cave-ins on the side. I believe it's from low water. These marks on the side, these harsh cracks, right? All the, this this white stuff that's not been picked up. That's because uh, there was not enough water. Uh, there will be a smidgen, not enough. A tablespoon, like literally maybe two tablespoons, and all that would be fine. I'm thinking maybe I did mix it up, I uh, made a mistake when I put in my yeast. I might have not put in enough. I said I was putting in three quarters of a teaspoon. I have doubts if I did that. Anyways, I will cut this open, show you how it looks inside, the outside look. Well, I call that the, the artisan, artisan look in a, of a bread in a bread maker. So I cut it open. If you look inside, it's a beautiful looking bread. Here's the, the crust. It's very soft, very nice and spongy, and the crust crust is semi semi crusty. Like it's the the extra butter, the extra margarine will give you that extra crunchy crunchy feeling. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll try to figure out what what went uh, wrong with this particular loaf. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a great day.